What is going on, Multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited. Patch notes have just dropped. Of course they did. I'm about to leave for work and they're like, oh, hey, here's the patch notes. Great timing, but we'll take it anyway. So you guys are wondering what's a part of the patch notes. Don't worry. We're going to go over all the major changes. So let's discuss. So up first, they do state, hey, thanks for all the feedback and, you know, helping make the necessary changes that the game needs. So thanks for that. That's cool. Uh, they do mention that Iron Giant is still currently unplayable. But we should have a status update about him next week. He's still currently in the shop for maintenance, so we'll have to, you know, wait for all that. But yes, currently still unplayable, although he did get some balance changes. And we'll go over that in just a second with all the a lot of the other character balance changes that uh, were made. But then down there at the bottom, they're also planning to address several highly requested changes soon. So these are some things that did not make it into this patch. They should be hopefully a part of the next patch for the game, but uh, things include additional performance improvements. Not to say that there wasn't any uh, performance Im improvements for this game, for this version. We did get that, and we'll go over that. But uh, other things like end game stats, options to turn off team colors, ability to swap side and neutral attack, and then the addition of the adjustable input buffer setting settings did not make it into this patch, but hopefully should be a part of the next one. So let's start with some general and bug fixes, right? So up first in general, they lowered the hit pause on all attacks in 1v1, not 2v2. We'll have to see how that goes, but uh, this was something a lot of people are saying, hey, that hit pause is, you know, kind of a little too, little too nutty. So they lowered it on all hits by 10%. I think this could be a big change and this is going to be a very positive one for the game. It'll help the game feel a little bit more speedy, a little faster than it was. So I know some people think the hit pause was way too, way too long, but that should be addressed hopefully. And I believe that they, you know, they worked out the numbers and everything, but 10% seems like a pretty big change. And then all fighters in training mode can now be tried for free. This was something we, we were all requesting and well, now it's back in the game. Great. But as you can see, some other bug fixes, um, you know, there were some bugs where players could not complete daily rewards for rift mode. That has been changed. Another big one, they fixed an issue that was impacting the performance of the Xbox Series X and S version of the game. So I've played it on Xbox a little bit and <laughs> oh yeah, it's uh yeah, it was, it was, we'll say it was rough uh, and that's putting it lightly, but hopefully that's, hopefully that version of the game is a lot more, you know, easy going now, but uh, you see the other things, but uh, that's not, this isn't all that we have because we got some character balance changes and that includes banana guard. Yep. Yep. Everyone expected banana guard to get hit somehow. Right. And well, they did hit his side special. The goal of this change is to reduce the extreme kill power on Banana Guard's side special and to bring it more in line with the rest of the damage from the cast. So his aerial side special reduced the damage. It used to be 12, now down to 10. And then the grounded side special used to be 14, but it's reduced to 12. Doesn't say anything about knockback though. It just says the damage has been reduced. So are Banana Guard still gonna be running rampant? I think they might be. I still think they might be. At least you're gonna, if you come across them, they're still going to be trying to spam side special. So be wary for that. But hopefully, you know, with the damage reduction, hopefully this helps a little bit. I don't think it's quite enough. And that's coming from somebody who still kind of likes Banana Guard a little bit. I don't mind it. I really don't mind him. So I don't know. Just my two cents. Now let's go over to our resident teddy bear, Jason. They did fix an issue with him. And that would be his grounded down special sleeping bag, if you will. So they fixed an issue where one player would disappear if Jason happened to grab two players at once with the sleeping bag. I came across this once myself. I wish I had the clip. I don't, but <laughs> he uses a sleeping bag, grabs two people. One just disappears. You don't know what happened. You think they might've left the game. No, they're still on the stage. They're just like invisible. It was really strange, but they did address this. So this is a good change because well, it needed to be changed. Now for the aforementioned iron giant, what got changed with him? Again, he's still not playable currently and they, uh, as we mentioned earlier we should get an update status on him next week but here's what they did change so the goal of these changes that they did implement this time around is to prevent iron giant from chaining certain sets of attacks infinitely we've all seen the clips most likely i think i just had the video what, yesterday or two days ago whatever that was but um here's what they changed here's what they changed grounded down attack the knockback angle is now more horizontal 
aerial neutral attack, the final hit will now always knock away regardless of how long you charge the attack. So I think that's that's a needed one. I do think that's a needed one. But then you got his grounded side attack. The jab on the first hitbox, I guess the first jab's move, the hitbox has been slightly reduced. So maybe a little bit tougher to hit, I guess. Obviously smaller hitbox. But uh, rage mode has been changed. Uh, the rage mode up special has also been reduced in damage. The final damage used to do six. Now it's down to five. So Iron Giant did get some nerfs, but overall it's kind of more changes to how the moves perform and knockback and everything to that. So Iron Giant changed, but still slightly nerfed. LeBron James also got nerfed. Well, his basketball got nerfed. What else are you going to nerf on him, right? <laughs> but uh, LeBron, what did they do to it? The basketball can now only hit one time per target. Anybody ever come across that online? You get hit with the same basketball like four, five, six times. It was kind of stupid. Like, it was funny to watch, but, you know, not to play against. It was one of those deals. It happened to me a few times, and I was like, what the hell is this? So I'm glad that this is being changed at least, though. The ball can only hit once per target, so if you're in a 1v1, it hit once. I'm assuming the ball just disappears now, so, or... I, I don't know, maybe it just hits once and then it's there and LeBron can go pick it back up. I'm not sure how that works, but again, the ball can only hit one time per target. Now Shaggy was another one that really needed some uh, addressing. So what happened with him? The goal of this change for Shaggy was to not allow neutral air attack to combo back into jab attack. So what he did, his neutral air is like the, the classic Scooby gang running, you know, that one. So he just kind of like twiddles his legs in the air. And then they, the opponent basically stays in place, so he's able to land quickly, do the jab combo, jump and do his neutral air combo again. And then it's just like an endless cycle of stupidness. So this was a much needed change, which they did. And the, it, this will no longer happen at all damage levels. So what did they change about his air neutral? The base knockback has been increased from 13 to 1700. So this helps kind of, you know, move the opponent that gets hit by this, you know, it moves them out of the possible range to get comboed and, or to be continue to be comboed into. The knockback scaling is also increased from 13 to 14. Knockback angle is now more horizontal instead of vertical. And then the on hit cancel window is also delayed by 10 frames. So that good changes. I think these were definitely necessary because Shaggy was a little too good, a little too good. And then of course we have Wonder Woman. What happened with Wonder Woman? Well, her lasso. It was a bit too oppressive to play against without any limiter, so they gave Wonder Woman's lasso an eight second cooldown. And I think this is fair. I played Wonder Woman a fair bit during the open beta. She did have a cooldown on her lasso during then. I th it just, it, to me, it just makes sense. So I, I believe this is a fair change to the move overall. So. It is what it is, just one person's opinion, but uh, that is what uh, we got for patch notes. I'll leave a link to the to the rest of the patch notes if you want to read them, but uh, I need to go to work, so the timing couldn't be more worse. It's not bad. I mean, I'm glad we got the patch notes, but I need to leave, so goodbye.